right, refresh my you my Facebook here. Let's see what's going on. What are you doing? Hmm? What what are you doing, bro? No, I'm just breathing. No, you're not just breathing, because you don't just breathe like that, bro. Nobody just breathes like that. Like this? Right. <laughs> That's what I do on the Nego's neck sometimes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, look at that. Looks like Facebook is up. Let me refresh this YouTube joint. All right. So I'm going to uh, let me go to my Facebook. I'm going to go over to my Facebook. And I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and hit this. You catch that quick twang? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go to my Facebook. I'm gonna... <laughs> it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Look at that. Nikki in already. <laughs> I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna go. my screen. Let okay. me go. Let me go to your screen, David. I'm gonna go to your Facebook, and I'm <laughs> gonna post some posts today. <laughs> You're gonna post some posts. <laughs> Copy the URL. I'm, I'm gonna go over to my Facebook, and I'm gonna post some posts. I'm about. I'm about to um, spam some people real quick. Hold on. Yes. Oh. There's another dude from Hampton named L. David Harris. Tell if it's a good there's, a, there's a lot of cats. Most of them are Jewish, though. Oh, okay. My Jewish brothers. Oh, Nic Nicole is laughing. <laughs> Nikki's laughing. I actually know cats that talk like that. <laughs> I know a whole lot of them that talk like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, homeboy? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I actually listen. I, I can actually I got, name a couple cats. I got a partner B in Long Island. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up, old boy? What's up? Uh, yo, I was like, yo, P, stop your foolishness. I can't stand you come from. Stop it. <laughs> stop your foolishness. <laughs> but what's up, old boy? It go sit on my own boy. Shonda. What up, Shonda? <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Shanta? Yeah, you ready? You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can't. I can't. I can't do it, man. Nah, yeah. I can't do that. Every, every time they do it, I'm gonna go out easy, man. <laughs> cool. Like one of my my homeboys in in high school. He used to say, "Easy, easy, look, 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 look. Easy. Easy. easy, easy, man, easy." easy. I'm like, what, "What's with the hand gesture, bro?" <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for my thing to load up so I can finish spamming people. But after that, we could. Yo, I want it. I, I know, I know, we letting them in the background, but I needed, I needed to share this joint with you. Oh yeah, because it is hilarious. with just me or with them, because you know they here. Now I could share it with them too. It's all okay. good. Okay, I just want to make sure because they're here. Yeah, I, you know, you good. Oh, okay. Man. Okay. Um, okay. It, 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 but before we go live, it's hilarious. If I could find it though, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And it's a church in Jamaica. It's a church in Jamaica. Listen, man, you better make sure it's not somewhere I gotta go. Cause if you making nah. jokes, you don't gotta live nah. here. Yeah, nah, let me, let, let me, let me just give you. Take our road, look up good. Take our road, look out for her. If the weave wanna wash and fix, set it up. Uh. Hallelujah. Hold on. Hallelujah. Hold on. Hold on. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. Turn that off. No, no. I did not, I'm about to mute your mic. No, we will not play that. We will not. Look out for her. If the weave want to wash and fix, set it up. Muting. Where's the mute button? Quest is now hereby muted from foolishness, man. No, nope. It's muted. It's muted. I will unmute now. You should have heard better than all your guitar. Don't make she get out of shape. How heavy like Listen, man, Quest, <laughs> I do not endorse this message. <laughs> Don't make her look like Mom Perilla. <laughs> Quest, I do not endorse my laughter. I do not endorse my laughter. <laughs> all right, all right. And, uh, all right, all right. We're not going with Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, 
Them uh, Philly boys. Them they Philly boys. Here. And now you got Nikki co-signing, man. This is not going well. Man. We, off, we are off. We are, our train, tr our tracks are off. Yeah. We are off the rails. Hereby off the rails because of this foolishness. <coughs> See, go, on, go on, go and go get your water now. <coughs> go on, get, go, go on, get, get no your water. No matter if you use chainsaw, cut our toenail, get meddy, I'm petty, all them things there. Dog, you memorize the joint? Yo, I heard it so many times. Yo, I had to, I watched it like 50 times. I was, yo, when I, yo, you know, in Jamaica, they say, well, sweet, yo. Man, that thing sweet me so bad. I sweet, yo. <clears throat> See, that's why you can't even talk now. You're choking. Oh, Get some man. <clears throat> take time, man. <clears throat> take time. <clears throat> Come to the peri area. Mm -mm. <laughs> the peri area. <laughs> All right, man. I think, I think we should probably... Let the yeah, people know what's going on before we get a little Let's bit go. extra. Yo, Let's we go. about to we about to be somewhere we could be extra, but right now we need to hurry up, like yeah. and get the video. The, yep. the, the the what are we doing again? The program. Yes, the program. The program. The program. All right. Well, welcome to everybody who are watching on. Uh, what up, Jay? Yo, that was my roommate, one of my roommates at, at high school when I left New York. When the last time we saw each other, when I disappeared, I went to yes. Pennsylvania. Yeah, Jay was my my roommate while we were we were out there. But anyway, yes. uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so I should probably uh, say what I was getting ready to say. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who are joining us for the very first time, you like that? Like that quest? Reset. <laughs> if you're joining us for the very first time, I'd like to welcome you to our program. But you're seeing us behind the scenes. This is not a blooper reel. This is the real deal. Yeah. But, uh, as soon as we sound like we know what the world we're talking about, yeah, then that means that we're live <laughs> on air with uh, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and whoever else picks it up. Yeah. I don't know why they pick us up, Quest, because we're not no no sense. Yo, I'm just but. telling you right now, I'm in I'm in good and silly mode today. So uh, just be prepared. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this button <clears throat> quest. And uh, so, uh, yeah. So when we know, when it seems like we know what we're talking about, it's because we are live on the actual program. Yes. And, uh, we'll highlight y'all, hold fast. Keep quiet on the set quest. That means mute. Because <laughs> I don't trust the quietness. Go on now. You mute. All right. I'm hitting the button now. Here we go. Get into it. Hey, yo, Quest, it's time to give the people something, man. What are we talking about today? What up? What up? What up? What up? It's your boy, Quest, your host with the most, and welcome to another edition, episode, chapter, you know what I'm saying, of the Marriage Ain't for Suckers podcast, alongside my man, my mellow, my mellow, my man, L. David Harris. What up, though? You see how you draw applause like that, kid? How you do that? I hit the button. That's all. <laughs> Guess what, class? Get, 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 get on the mic again. Class, it's in session. Oh, no doubt it is. No doubt it is. Yeah, I just want him to know. Um, let me warn y'all ahead of time. Um, I'm feeling good and silly today. <laughs> you know, the, the Bible says that laughter is like medicine. And um, I got a lot of laughter today. So... <laughs> It says a merry heart. <laughs> well, fact hey, checker. Fact checker. If that's the, all right, well, uh, uh, yeah, because we don't deal in alternative facts. <clears throat> I'll leave that to Stacey Dash. Fix Oops, your business. <laughs> Fix your business. Well, I got I got a, 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 a very uh, merry heart today, if that's the case. All right, it's good. It's all good, man. You need to have a merry heart. Man. Oh, no doubt. No yeah. doubt. No doubt. If I can't laugh, what can I do? 
Yeah. No good. Let's go. No bueno. <clears throat> so what's up, man? What, what's good on, on the Jamaica side of things? Yeah, it was a whole lot good, man. But of course, I got almost a one track mind right now because we in the throes of net 2018. Hashtag yeah, links yeah. for Christ 2018. Y'all yeah. want to look that up, man, because Lord is blessing, bro. Yeah. We're getting uh, trending mm -hmm. uh, in, 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 in the program on YouTube, which is a positive thing. Yeah. Which like means that a lot of cats who are looking for something else are getting what the Lord wants them to see on top of that. So they're getting a bonus. Yep. As and, you should. Uh, you know, so it's it's a blessing, man. Net2018.org. Check it out. We still have until March 10. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to miss it. It's live every every night besides Friday. So Lovely. check it out. Lovely. Well, yeah, yeah man, I am um, actually, you know, finishing up, you know, the packing today and doing all the necessary running around. Uh -huh. because, uh, tomorrow we head down to Florida, drop the yeah. kids off at my parents' house. Yeah. And then... Um, off to Fort Lauderdale where we jump on, you know what I'm saying, the Princess Cruise, you know what I'm saying? And uh, off we go Sunday onto the waters, man. It's called the Phenomenal Cruise 2018. It is going down. Word. A lot of people speaking on that cruise. Um, Josh Hatch, CJ, Carlos Quinney, who's the CEO of ETA, Eric Thomas, Shelly Shelton, yeah. Myself, I'll be speaking on Friday on mastering your relationships. Okay. Um, but there will be a number of conferences. We'll be uh, at sea, I think, three of those eight days. And um, yeah, man, other than that, we're going to go and check out a couple islands, enjoy ourselves. And I promise you, if you want to be on this cruise, we'll be releasing it. It's from, we just decided, D, that it's something that we need to do annually. When you work right. hard, you should enjoy the fruits of your labor and you should play hard. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And this is going to be a work, a kind of a work, workation for me, if you will. Of course. It sounds like a oxymoron, workation. No, 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 no. You're doing it right. That's what it is, man. Because good work is. is not a problem for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt. And so, and so, um, yeah, man, um, you should play hard. And so next year, we'll start releasing that information, man. And if you're not on this one this year, trust me, it's going to be off the meat rack. You want to be on the next one for next year. Yeah, man. Yes, indeed. So what's going to happen after that? After you're done with that, then what? Oh, then we come home and then on March 23rd through the 25th, me and my man, yeah. uh, L. David Harris, click up and form Voltron at the marriage retreat going on by Full Circle Ministries, headed up by the one and only Pastor Paul Graham. Yeah, and man. That's that, people's, man. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Well, that's I'm talking about that's foundational peoples. We go all the way back to elementary school, too. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's going down at Sandy Cove. Yeah, you that's Northeast say? Maryland, just across the border from Delaware. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Son, and I haven't I, been to the States in years. Oh, no, no doubt. Literally. And so this, and, and much, you haven't been to the state in years, and we haven't seen each other face to face in years. 29. So all of y'all out there just, you know, wanting to be in our business, acting like we brand new with each other. We oh, not. Nah, nah. We were little homies nah. together, man. Real nah. tough. Man. Nah. And so uh, we yeah, when we get in that room, it's going down like four flats. If you yeah. are in the Maryland area and you're trying to take your marriage to the next level, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to find out how can I get on one accord with my wife or you're just moving towards marriage. And you need to find out some gems that will allow you to navigate efficiently. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Yes, indeed. So, yep, yep. A um, couple of events coming up real soon. Take Control is the name of the entrepreneurial series that uh, we're putting on <clears throat> this year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we just did Charlotte last weekend. Um, Dallas is coming up, I believe, and Boston is coming up. If you want to be in the building, I promise you, uh, um, Chris Daniels, shout out to Chris Daniels. He does uh, the DISC assessment that he's transformed and uh, mm -hmm. called it the animal assessment now. And uh -huh. uh, if you ever hear anybody from the ETA or, or, or Breathe University community talking about I'm a gorilla, I'm a flamingo, I'm a turtle, or I'm a chameleon, that's what they're talking about. And I promise uh -huh. you, it does wonders for you. Um, and just trying to find out who you are, how you operate, and not only, uh, you know, with yourself, but with other people as well. So, yeah, man, Josh Hatch is always dropping gems as far as business is concerned. He punched some folk in the mouth the other day, D. He said, when your likes on Instagram are more than your bank account. Something is wrong. 
Oh, pause. Yeah. He said, I just want to say that one more time. Just for those, you know, saying if anybody didn't get caught, he said, when the number of likes on your Instagram is more than what you have in your bank account, something is wrong. I said, okay. Pause. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, then. All righty, yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, E.T. did a, a phenomenal piece on I Am. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I saw that. I actually oh, saw man. that. man. I mean, I'm I talking about... It was bananas. He did a piece on I Am that was just out of this world. So like I said, man, if y'all want to be in the, in the next one, you know, if it's coming, might be coming close to your area to find out more information and when it's coming to a city near you, go to www.etinspires.com forward slash events yeah. or go to breatheuniversity.com. Word up. Well, why don't we get the rest of this underway so we can get the program going? Yes, sir. This program is brought to you by Audible. Get your free audiobook trial and 30 your free audiobook with your audio trial uh, at audibletrial.com forward slash marriage with more than 180,000 titles from which to choose for your Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. And I think today I'm going to recommend again for our homegirl, we want to keep it in the family today, Carmen Holt Thomas. Why marry a man you don't need? Mm-hmm. why marry a man you don't need mm-hmm. and uh so just go ahead and get that you don't have to do that but you can and uh i recommend it and mm-hmm. uh, so that's where it is yeah and, uh so i just want to ask a question to the people quest i need to yeah. see them put it in the feed if you're watching on youtube or facebook yeah or even uh, even live on uh uh iheart radio i need to pull that chat box open i can see it now uh if you would like to see us do live call in Lines regular, just go ahead and put yes, all yep. caps. Yep. yep, yes, all caps, because that's something we've been toying with, and uh, we got the capability to get a thousand heads in. We're not going to be able to talk to a thousand people, but we can do it. The lines cannot be overwhelmed, so yeah, just let us know. Put it in the put it in the chat box if you're catching it after the fact. Go ahead and do it again. Yes, if you want to see us do live call in, mm-hmm. and uh, if you think that'll add benefit to the program, just let us know. Yeah. And we'll see what we could do about that. We already ready, though. You got to know. You know, infrastructure is already in place. It ain't nothing new, man. Come on. You already know what it is. Yeah. So we won't do it today. We'll just, you know, see what the people saying, Quest. Yeah, no doubt. All right. No let's doubt. get going, man. We we in there. Yeah. Uh, did I see wifey in the room today? I think wifey's in the room. Uh, I saw somebody hail her, bro. Oh, wait. There she go. I yeah. see it now. Oh, yeah. she's definitely in the room today. I yeah, shout I out it. to the love on Facebook of my life. You know what I'm saying? Faith, what's yeah. up? The gungo peas to my rice. You know oh. what I'm saying? My Julie mango. You know well, why it always got to be food? That's all I want to know. Yeah, because that's, that's that's how she make, you know how food make you feel? She make, that's how she make me feel. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay Chris. Yeah, I ain't mad. Yeah, that's how she make me feel, okay? She made me feel nice. So, shouts out to, you know what I'm saying, my, 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 my butter peak and reekin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Boricua, stand up. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> All right, Quest, let's go. Let's yep, go, man. Yep, yep, yep. So we're talking about today, man, um, the power. Yeah, let me just say it one more time because there's power in it. The power of making adjustments. Mm-hmm. The power of making adjustments. Let me the tell you. The power of making adjustments. Yep, yep. It, 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 for real, D, you and I live by it. We've never really, um, and, and, and there was a time that I wasn't. Um, but I know that there I, that I am in the last six couple of years, you know what I'm saying? I, I just do it. You know what I'm saying? And I know that mm-hmm. you've been married uh, a number of years more than I have, and you've been doing it as well. And it's kind yeah. of been an unspoken mantra, if you will, yeah. um, as it relates to marriage and, and our specific relationships. And that is making adjustments and not making excuses. Yeah. Word up. Um, Period. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. There is, there is a couple of of, of couples that I have been um, coaching, uh, providing marital coaching for, who are going through, you know, what I'm saying the changes. And sometimes, um, what we have a tendency to do when problems arise, difficulties arise, whatever the challenges arise, we uh-huh. look a lot at what we're not getting, and we always look at our spouse, at, you know, from the standpoint of what they're not doing. Oh boy. When the truth of the matter is um, that you have just as much 
like no problem, no issue is one sided. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? No difficulty is really one sided. Uh huh. No marriage. You know what I'm saying? Um, and one, like, like we said, one marriage you're, quest. You're one. So, you know, we, you, you and I spoke about it, I think, on the uh, um, 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 last podcast. I want to say it was the last podcast, but we talked about being a fragmented one. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that makes it very difficult for the one and one to become one, if you True. will. Yeah. Yeah. We were having a private session with one of our, one of our, one of our guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what we were talking about. That. Okay. Yep. Yep. And so one of the things um, that I realize as I'm coaching couples is that sometimes, and, I, and, and, and let, me, let me just say this about me first. There was a time where I was in that same position, but what I realized, D, is when I refuse to acknowledge that I am dealing with an issue that's resident in me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Although mm -hmm. it's both of our problems because yeah. we're married, yeah, it, it really resides here in me. And I've, I've encouraged couples to, to think from the mindset of you're not the problem and he's not the problem. The problem is the problem. And what the two of you need to do is become vulnerable with each other and work together against the problem and not each other. That's yeah. something that I always tell couples, right? Yeah. So when I put myself in a position, D, where I am negligent to realize that there is a problem resident here and it mm -hmm. needs to be fixed. Yeah. And we, what we try to do sometimes is we try to self-medicate, but you've been self-medicating for the last month, yeah, six months, six months. And that six months turned into two years and that two years turned into five. You got a problem. Now yeah, you I can make, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'll just say this last piece and then you can jump in. You can, you can make excuses for the problem that you, you got, or you can make adjustments. Me, I'm in that position that although I'm a marriage coach, uh, uh, D, D when me and Faith go through changes and it's changes that I can't seem to fix, she can't, we got to go see somebody. Yeah, real talk. Like I, 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 Quest Green has a marriage coach as well. <laughs> I'm a marriage coach, but I got a marriage coach. You understand? Yeah. 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 And I, you know, as always, I want to, I want to quote Polonius in that, in that, in that Shakespearean Oh, play. come on, come on, come this on. This above all to thine own self be true. Come on. And it must follow as night the day. So, you know, night, actually follows the day all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Thou canst not then be false to any man. So as long as I'm being honest to myself about myself, mm -hmm. then I can't lie to others about self. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah, that's yeah. the problem. When you talk about self-medicating, sometimes we self-medicate to hide our faces from the oh, reality. come on. Yep. Right? Like yep. they say, uh, sticking your head in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just change the subject. And in my field, it's called redirecting but yeah. you're redirecting yourself. So there's a problem right in front of you and let's talk about it. And then shoot. So how's the day? Like, what? Yeah. wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. How do we get on the day? We, we haven't even begun to deal with the issue that we have. Right Ab now. Absolutely. Right? Or, so. it, 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 then, then of course, like for me, D, like it, I, I understand the magnitude of what I, what we do mm -hmm. it collectively as well as individually. Yeah. Quest. Um, and so like, I don't have time to be dealing with stuff that is a hindrance to me and my relationship, because I know that the, 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 that the union between the covenant between me and faith is not just about me and faith. Nah, you it's going to leak out, man. It'll leak out and mash up everything. But here's the thing. People are looking at us as a couple to, as a reference point, like, okay, that's, dope, right. that's, that's what marriage that's right. is like. That's how it should work. And I want to, I may not necessarily want to do it exactly the way that they're doing it, but I want to model some of the principles that they're, yeah. now, now if I got an issue going on and I'm sitting here battling with this issue for a month, three months, and then I'm saying to myself, uh, I'm not yet, you know, convinced that I really need to see a therapist or Probably. like, nah, B, I'm not on that. I, yeah. I got too much at stake. And yeah. if, if faith will tell you like, for real, I'm quick to say, yo, all right. I can't talk to you about it because like no you can't really help because you don't have the to to help me with this, right? I need to go talk to a therapist. So I'll call my boys. I'll start calling my partners. Like, okay, who knows of a, a good therapist yeah. that I can sit down. It's crazy. I watched Jay in an interview with uh what's your what's your man who was the CEO of uh, New York Times? Oh, I don't remember his name. Black gentleman. I can't, oh man, his name is, I'll remember it. I promise you. But I sat, I watched them sit down and have the interview and to hear him talk now 
as opposed to the way that he did back then. I'm talking about my man made serious adjustments because he went to a therapist to help him talk through some stuff. And the way that he's talking right now, I've never heard the brother talk before. And who is I'm this? I'm talking about Jay-Z. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm talking yeah. about the brothers talking in a way that's, that's freeing. Like he talks about the way that he used to cheat on his wife, the way that yeah. he's not cheating right now. Yeah. I mean, and talking in a holistic kind of way, um, a healthy way, if you will. So he got and help. I'm sitting there, my man got help. There's no way that, because here's the funny thing about it. When you continue to ignore whatever it is that the issue is, it not only tears down, like for real, you giving it more and more room and space to tear down money, finances, family, and ultimately your marriage. Uh -huh. right? And so because other people are watching and other people, are, and this is the way, the way we make our bread and butter, I ain't got no time to play with that. Listen, find me a therapist. Let me sit down and talk these issues through. Because once again, yeah, especially Quest, we are both public cats. Oh, come on. And, you know, come we've on. been in the, in the public eye for a minute and no doubt. It's not getting smaller. It's getting bigger. Mm -mm. So we, we repping each other. We repping our marriages. Of course we repping God. Like that's, that's the most important. Pause. So that's right the, there. Look, 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 so what happens now if I if I don't get the help that I need and stuff is falling apart? It directly affects you. And if it oh, directly no affects you, then it directly affects the brand. If it directly affects the brand, then it affects everybody else who's connected to the brand. You yeah. feel me? It's yeah. not worth it. Yeah. It's just not worth it. So getting help, like getting <laughs> getting help is key. Like there's somebody in my life where it's always like, well, what can I do better? What can I do better? What can I do better? It's like, there's nothing you could do better. You could get help. Just get help. Yep, no doubt. And I'm not talking about Simone. I'm not on that passive aggressive, call her somebody. Her name is Simone, so I ain't talking about her. I, there's people that we have as friends and otherwise, right? And it's like, sometimes our friends are in, in situations where they're either offending us on a regular basis or, you know, it's just causing all kind of havoc. And it's, yeah. you know, you got 20, 15, 20 years of friendship. Yep. And the same thing over and over. And it's like, what do you want me to write you a list? Like, there's no list I can give you this. The problem that's causing this is you need help. That's Point blank. Problem. And that's fine. Like, there's no problem with needing help. The problem is when we need it and don't take it, oh, don't man. speak it, don't oh, embrace man. it. You so, feel what I'm saying? So, so, so now we, we, we touching in some stuff now, um, D, because um, I, I, one, one of my favorite guys, you know what I'm saying, is Dr. John Gottman, right? Uh -huh. And I've seen it in past coaching sessions that I've done before, but he said a, a while back that he has four attributes, if you will, that will determine how long you will last in your marriage and ultimately lead you to divorce, What's right? That? So I just, I just, I just want to share the four of them real quick. Um, like I said, uh, this is all about making adjustments and not excuses. Not excuses. So, 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 what, what, what these four things do is they keep a couple, if you will, a married couple, from connecting. And when a couple's relationship is in a crisis, um, what they're doing is they're suffering uh, from a loss of connection. And these are the things that prevent a couple. Uh, from loss of connection, or I mean, or, or uh, 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 add to the loss of connection, and ultimately will lead you right down the road to divorce if you continue to operate in them. Right. Uh, the first one is criticism. Criticism. Right. So let's unpack it real quick. Pause real so, quick. Yeah. I know you're gonna unpack it. Yep. Sometimes people may think criticism is is always a negative, but this sounds like you're talking about a negative. Like a I'm talking about spiritual. we're not talking about constructive criticism. Okay, carry on. Because constructive criticism builds up, right? All right. It, it, depending on how you receive it, but if it, sure. if it's constructive criticism, it's criticism that allows you to grow in some way, shape, or form. But this is just criticism, not constructive, right? Carry so on. When you criticize your partner, you're basically implying that there is something wrong with them, right? You have taken a problem between you and put it mm -hmm. inside your partner's body using the words, quote unquote, you always, or you never, right? Are yeah. common ways to criticize, right? Your partner is most likely to feel that they're under attack and they'll Hit. respond defensively, right? Hit that. Hit uh, that. All right? Yeah. So this is a dangerous pattern to get into because neither person feels heard, right? And mm -hmm. then both may begin to feel bad about themselves in the presence of the other the, the other uh, 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 spouse, right? And the yeah. antidote 
I'm going to say it again. The antidote to criticism is to make a direct complaint that is not a global attack on your partner's personality. So the issue is the issue, the, right? So right. if you have a problem, like I, I'm a person who is on time for everything, Quest. I don't right. do anything like ever. Right. When I say ever, I mean literally ever. You could right. believe it or don't believe it. That's just how I live, right? Right. So what if what if the issue is Simone is late all the time, which is which she's not? Do do I make it an an assault on her character? No. No. Or do, or do I ask her like the next time we're gonna go to thus and such a place? Could you try a little harder? If yeah. that's not a good way to say it in your marriage, don't say it. But I'm just saying, if it were mine, could you try a little harder? We could get get going on time. And and here's and I'll give you I'll even give you the reason why, uh -huh. so that we can get X Y because at the end of the day, what is the goal? Yeah. What are we trying to accomplish? And if we right. can nail down what it is that we're trying to accomplish, then we can you know put together a plan, and then we can ask ourselves: Is being late conducive, you know, to what we're trying to achieve in terms of the goal? And if it's not, then why are we doing it? Yeah, I try to catch flight. Yeah, no, no I doubt. Catch a flight, and, and and I go up to the gate lit. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's not gonna work. So, so let's let, let and I I, I want to unpack, uh, you know, the the the, the three uh, the the um the other three, right? right so on. the second one D is defensiveness, right? Uh -huh. All right. So so when you attempt to defend yourself from a perceived attack uh -huh. with a counter complaint, so in uh -huh. other words, your spouse comes to you with a complaint, you get defensive and say, "Well, you do X, Y, and Z," right? Yeah, that's you, you being defensive. Right. And yeah. another way to be defensive is to whine like like you an innocent victim. Right. Yeah. And unfortunately, defensiveness keeps partners from taking responsibility for problems and then escalates negative communication. Right. So even if your partner's criticizing you. Right. Defensiveness is not the way to go. It'll only fuel a bad exchange. And the antidote to defensiveness, once again, the antidote is to try to hear your partner's complaint and to take some responsibility, take ownership for the problem. Agree with what's true, Quest. You got to agree with, with, with what's true. What do we say? Whether it be something that I've actually done or neglected to do or, or to value the feeling of my wife. Yo. Because she's telling me that there's an issue. Right. So I can't invalidate everything, throw the baby out with the bathwater just because I disagree with the issue. Come on. You you and I have said it all yeah. the time that there's your truth, there's yeah. my truth, and then there's the truth. The truth. Right? Yeah. Every mm -hmm. time I come in the house and I I, I, I I come in the front door, I never take my shoes off at the door. I walk across my wife's floor. She beefs about it. Right? Yeah. Yo, you keep my, getting my floor dirty. Then I get defensive. Well, you leave your your, your robe across the front of the bed and, or, on, on, the, on the chair in front of the bed and... Now you, now, now you acting like a five year old, Quest. You for real? D did you not walk across the floor and mess up the woman's floor, and she just cleaned it like fifteen minutes ago? It's simple true. as that. Take simple your shoes off when you come in the house. It's that simple. And does it kill you? No, it don't. But see, what happens is when you're fragmented, yeah, and you're broken, you'd be like, "It's my house." <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? I'm walk across the floor if I want to. Now you got a problem. There's but, a valuing but, issue with or devaluing issue. But here's the thing oh, that's the, that, that's crazy. You're what? not gonna clean the floor. Once oh, again, I got another problem. Yeah. You, you're not gonna clean the floor, and the woman want her house clean. She want her house clean, and then when it's not clean, you vex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cause it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So 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 yeah. L loose loose the defensiveness, man. Yeah, easy with that, man. It's it's not worth it. All right, so so here yeah. go the third one, D. Yeah, the, the third one is contempt. All right? Oh man, that just on the strength of that, like, do we need to explain that? Go ahead. Oh, I mean, I, I'll unpack it. Wow. Though, you know what I'm saying just for unpacking sake, right? Yeah. So with contempt is any statement or nonverbal behavior that puts yourself on a higher ground than your partner. Mm. <laughs> and sometimes, as husbands, you can use your intellectual prowess to keep your wife in a particular position. Oh, come on. Come on. So, uh, so, so in other words, mocking your partner, calling them names, rolling your eyes and sneering in disgust. All of those are example of uh, examples of contempt, right? So of all the horsemen, you know what I'm saying? Or all the, of uh, 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 I should say, uh, uh, um, John Gottman calls them the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> so of all of these attributes, contempt is the most serious 
um, because couples have to realize that these types of put downs will destroy the, the, the fondness that you have for one another, the admiration that you have for one another. And the antidote to contempt is to lower your tolerance for contemptuous statements and behaviors and to actively work on building a culture of appreciation in the relationship. Is it always easy? Um, no, but it can be done. But hold uh, up, guys. Yep, hold up. Yep. Hold up. Yep. Hold up. There's this phrase that you may have heard of, Quest. Yep. It's called contempt of court. Yes. Yes. You know what happens when cats are in violation and they are held in contempt of court, Quest? Yeah. yeah. They lock your tail they, up. <laughs> they get fined heavily and or get locked up. Because you can't show you can't show scorn. You can't demonstrate that this court is below beneath you in terms of your consideration. You feel me? You can't, <laughs> you can't act like it's worthless because all that judge up there and the law that that judge represents, the judiciary, says we don't have no space for people that disrespect the and court. That's, and that's in any court. That's in any court. So if uh, we are dealing with the uh, laws of marriage now from God's perspective, and mm -hmm. I have devalued my wife, ladies, your husband, to the point that now I scorn them. You scorn them. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a consequence. Oh, indeed. Real talk. Indeed. You cannot, you cannot show contempt. You can, no, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Pause. Retract. You cannot have contempt. So if you have contempt, you have to ask God to help you with that. Mm -hmm. Because even if you in your mind have it and you're not work it out, <laughs> the way that you behave still is a manifestation of that contempt. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? No doubt. Because even if you're standing there in a daze looking at your wife's face like it's a camera lens and you just listen, just waiting for it to be done and you're showing contempt on the inside only, you're still not taking anything in. You're still not making adjustments intellectually, psychologically, spiritually, or, or practically. So once that contempt is in your heart, it's a wrap. Yo. So the Lord has to help us with that, bro. Yeah. Really. Yep. This last one, D. Yeah, let's go. Off the top, bro. What is it? I don't even know yeah. what it is, but I'm yeah. off the top. This bro. last one right here, like for, yeah. for real, it, 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 and I will, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go as far as to say it, it, when you do this, it, all it does is it shows your immaturity. Okay. And when I say immaturity, I'm not saying infantile in your thinking. I am saying infantile in your thinking, but I am also saying that you don't take responsibility for your, for your actions. You don't take responsibility for your thoughts because really and truly your actions are a reflection of what's going on inside of your head. Yeah. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, you know? Yeah. So, so this last one right here is called stonewalling. All right. Check your chat box. I'm yep. hearing. Yep. Yep. So, so in other words, in other words, um, it, it, oh, okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Got you. Uh, so, so, so stonewalling happens, right? Right. D mm -hmm. yeah. When the listener withdraws from the conversation. Did I just make an example of that? Yep. That's staring at your white face like it's a camera lens. Yep. Yep. So you're not so, there. Yep. Yep. So, 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 so yeah. let me just, let, let me just give them the unpack real quick. The stonewaller yeah. might actually um, or physically leave or they might just stop tracking oh, the conversation. That is so disrespectful, bro. Yeah. You and, and, me, and, yo, and just like for real, Walk like, away, bro. Yo, in the middle of you talking, they just nah, like pick up and just nah. bounce out the room. Mm -hmm. Either that, or they stop tracking the conversation and appear to shut down. Nah. Right? Unacceptable. Uh, I'm talking about the, 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 the height of disrespect, right? Or the stonewaller may look like he, he or she doesn't care. Um, usually, eight, the, the, here's the funny thing. 80, mm -hmm. this is, and this, this is statistics now. 80% of stonewallers are usually men, right? Yeah. But Because we're not enough time. What they, yep, yep. Uh, and it's not that they don't care. Right. Right. That's so it's not it's not a case of they, they just don't care. Typically, they are overwhelmed and are trying to calm themselves. Um, and unfortunately, this seldom works because the partner, especially if a woman is likely to assume they don't care enough about the problem to talk about it. This is where the differences between men and women uh, 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 creep into this thing. Um, well, hold, on, hold on before you go too far, though. But does it really matter? 
it doesn't it's, really it's, matter. It's perception is king, and it, it is. It, it is. And, and you're demonstrating something that looks like you don't care. Yes. Does it really matter? Yeah. But, because but some, a lot of times dudes will say, well, it's not that I don't care. I just, and now you're making an excuse again. Back yeah. to square one. Yep. Yep. And, and, and this is what we're talking about, making adjustments and not yep. excuses, right? Mm -hmm. So it can be a vicious circle with one person demanding to talk and the other, you know, looking for escape, right? Mm -hmm. So the antidote to this is to learn to identify the signs that you or your spouse yeah. is starting to feel emotionally overwhelmed and to agree together to take a break. Mm -hmm. And what not take up not 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 take a break to just done the conversation and not deal with it ever again, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. The break is for the purposes of gathering yourself, gathering your thoughts and coming back with a constructive mindset to deal with the issues and make the necessary adjustments, right? Uh -huh. So if the problem still needs to be discussed, then what you do is you pick it right back up when you've, because sometimes you just on 10 and on a scale of one to 10, sometimes you want 50. Wait until you come back down to a three or yeah. two and come back. You know, you take the break, but not just to be done with the conversation or sweep it under the rug, but to come back and deal with the conversation when you're much calmer. You know, it's interesting. My wife was talking about Simone. She was talking to somebody she was being helpful to the other day. And I don't bring it up because it's, it's real old, man. Like this, our only, and y'all can believe it or don't. It's not my business whether you do or you don't. But the only issue Simone and I have ever had was, was like 15 years ago. When I say issue, I'm not talking about we agree on everything, but I don't have a need to agree on everything. If it's not principle, then I can take it. I don't have a, I don't have a problem taking a knee, man. Yeah. I'm good. Like yeah, I don't yeah. beef about stuff that's not principle and we don't have a principle problem. So the no. rest of it, I'm out like, okay, I don't have yeah. to agree. I don't have yeah. to like it. I'm I don't have that. I don't have that requirement for myself is what I'm saying. Yeah. But we had a, we had an issue uh, 15 years ago and it, it wasn't really that big a deal, but it was big enough a deal in, in Simone's mind that she got up and walked out the house, bro. Yeah. She walked out like while we, while we, I don't remember if it was while I was saying, so I don't think it was like that, but she was just like, her take a break was like, I'm out. And I was like, nah, this can't go, man. Because this is my homegirl. Remember, we were friends 11 years before we got married 16 years ago. Yep. So it's my homegirl walking out the house in the dark because of something we talking about. That's br brass tacks. We're talking about something. Bro. Ain't nobody yelling. Ain't nobody fighting. Ain't nobody throwing nothing. Nobody showing no, nobody showing no, no, no King Kong behavior. Yeah, that's it. But it was just too hot in her mindset. And she didn't want to talk about it at the moment. And it was just, she had to go deal with whatever that was. And she got up and walked out. And she was telling whoever she was helping the other day, that can't go. And she remembers that her husband did not just let her walk and cool off. Did I go out there, Quest, and then go, gr whenever I found her, go grab her by her wrist and say, where you going? Yeah, I'm talking uh, to you. Yeah, no, you better not. I ain't crazy, bro. You better not. But I'm not going to just walk like Desiree is saying here on the feed. Like, that's my rib walking away, man. I'm not going to act like she's not walking away. Yeah, Did I try yeah. to make her talk? No. For but what? But the walking away is some next level. Like, and, and, we, and we both learn from it. Yeah. It's a matter of two people now becoming one flesh. And the 11-year friendship is not the same context as the, I guess it was one-year marriage. And we had to work that little thing out. And Lord bless us. We learned from it, man. Not another incident. Straight up, because for whatever reason, the Lord has blessed us to learn this stuff, man, and say, Absolutely. whatever the problem is, ain't worth it. It ain't worth beefing. Well, but in, in all honesty, let's let's really, really take a look at that. Yeah. And, and unpack that just a little. How much time we got left, D? We got uh, three minutes and change. All right. So let me just really, really quick yeah. put this in a nutshell. The reason why we, we buck the way that we do is because for real, Either, either as a woman, you have a hard time submitting or as a mm. man, you got validation issues. Mm. Mm. You validation. feel like you got to exert your physical power or your, you know, like I said before, your intellectual prowess. Wow. You, you, you got to exert yourself to get your wife. Let me tell you something. Love cannot be commanded. No. It has no. to be extended freely. Right. Yeah, or it precludes love. Like exactly, yeah. the only thing that be commanded is obedience. 
And we don't do that with us. And spouse. we don't do that with Matt because you can't control her. The only person you can control is you. I don't not, want not no safely. relationship where yeah. I got to buck and fight with you. Nah, to you to do something. Can we sit down and calmly discuss a, a goal and achieve the goal working together? Like, I don't want no relationship if I can't do that. And Listen, this man. is the reason why the pre-work is so important for that's all my single people. Say. This no, that's is what the I was reason about to say. why. Commercial yep. time. Go. Yeah. yeah. This is the reason why single folk who are listening to the podcast that you got to get premarital coaching or counseling because you got to know what you're dealing with. If you don't know the full story, you got to know if nothing else that you can work with this person towards a common goal. Yeah. Hit us on marriageaintforsuckers.com. Hit us on the inbox. You'll yeah, see exactly. the, the contact and we can, we can get y'all started on that because there are times that Quest and I may talk to somebody or we talk about people and it's like Quest, it's like Quest go-to question is, well, or even Simone, when she and I are talking about stuff, she's like, well, did y'all not know that before? And it's not that it's not a valid question, but it's like, but now what? Like, so you answer the question. So we want to get people ahead of that question. Mm -hmm. Like if you're seeing the red flag, you got to get, we, you got to, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't play with it, man. Don't yeah. act like a red flag is not a red flag. Oh, it is. But here's the thing, though. They yeah. bone in. I'm going to say it. And I'm and I ain't going to put no, 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 no you sense. Mean, you bone you in. Sex? Yes. Pre yes. Before marriage? Yes. And you because the sex is good to you or the booty good to you. You can't see the red flags when they popping up. Either you see them and yeah. you just because you don't want to mess up your booty. So you 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 push the red flags to the side and then you try to make a bad a, a bad situation. Good. By get oh, come on. By yeah. getting married. And now you made a vow. And I told you, God don't take pleasure in fools or foolishness. It would have been better for you not to, to uh, not make a vow than to make one and not keep it. Yeah. Premarital sex it. puts us in a situation where we're under a spell. It yeah. doesn't even have to be good. Y'all yeah. can, can play with it if you want, but yeah. no, it doesn't have to be good. It's not about whether it feels good or doesn't feel good. But yeah. whenever we are in a situation where we are doing something that God would not have us do or mm -hmm. vice versa, we yeah. are not in position to hear from him. Yeah. And that's just what it is until we turn away. Yeah. Repent. Yeah. So that's where we at, Quest. Yeah, I've been there, done that. Yeah. Stay focused. Stay focused. All right, Quest. Bang, 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 bang. Billy Bing. No. <laughs> back on that, Quest. <laughs> yes. Come on, man, y'all. Yes. Big up. Uh, who, who I need to big up? Yo, the list is long today, you know. Yeah, man, open people, man. Yeah. Yo, guess what? Let me start with the, well, let me start, let me start with the veterans in the game, Quest. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. you already know. That's, that's, Nikki, that's Nikki Pastor S. Peter Campbell, Sr. Yeah. Oh, 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 come on. Come on. Yeah, Pete, the big my, man came through. Oh, the, oh, the, the, daddy, daddy Campbell came through. The I got to call. Came. I got to call Pete and let him know that daddy came through on, on, yeah, on the, big, on the big man came through, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All yeah. right. So we could talk about everybody else now that we got the big man. Out the more you call big man. No. no, yo, listen, when I grew my joint out, I was thinking about him, man. Yeah, man. I, I, yo, I was I, like, but I can't keep up with the big man. Yo, so I'm not just, gonna lie, D. I, I used to, yo, I used to be jelly over my man's goatee because no, he used to, it, I, yo. I'm talking about my man looked like like a king from Wakanda, like kid. Let's go. <laughs> looked like a king from Wakanda. I can't speak on the Wakanda man. Just give yeah. me the king. Give yo, the I'm king. just, I'm just telling you, my man's uh, goatee used to look kingly, B. Yeah. Still does, but let's yeah. carry on, man. We got a long list today, man. Oh, come on. Shouts out to Desiree, man, and, yeah. and my man, Daniel Pate. Shonda, yeah. I'll see you on Sunday in Fort Lauderdale. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but and big up Ellie. to my wife. We got yeah. youth coming through, Quest. Ellie. Oh, Ellie big up. Ellie Brostrom. Oh, you know mean? Big them up. Yo, yeah. Big, big, yeah, big up, big up Faith. You know what I'm saying? My number one who was on the line with us today, man. Oh, I can't wait. To, yeah, I'll see you later on. I got lots of... Uh, we have no ratings on this quest. Please. Oh, I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Give me a break, break quest. Yeah. Big up to my man Rolando Rob Roman. 
You know, yeah. shouts out to the BU fam, Rolando and his wife out there on the West Coast. Yep. Yeah, Tony Fontana coming in all late, but that's cool, Tony. We know you can catch it on the rebound. And, on she the was, and she was sending me kisses too inside the group. Let me tell you, I love that chick, man. Heard I'm gonna be I quiet, love cause, and then I'm going to start spilling my beans. I'm going to be quiet. Yep. Shout yeah. out. Shouts out to the fam. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Caver family from Good Stewart. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to them. Yeah, they are on. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cynthia Shouts Homegirl Flore. Yep. Yep. Cynthia, what's up, girl? Africa was on today. Of um, course. Who else was on? It was a number of people. Lupe, on. Man. Lupe is in there. Lupe. Yep. Lupe. Yep. Yep. Isaiah. Big shots out to my man Isaiah. Who's oh, yeah, going man. with us? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Who else? Oh, yeah. My man, Sabbath Child, Kiwame. Kiwame. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do- Let's Do- see. Do- Do- Chambers. Damien yep. Chambers. Yep. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, shouts out to him. Tony Montana. Tony Montana. Why are you calling him Montana, sir? Because I like the, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the name is Tony, Mon- the, the, I mean, the song is Tony Montana, but I know it's Tony Fontana. As long as we know. As long as we know. Yeah. <laughs> Who else? Hold up, hold up. I'm scrolling through real quick, scrolling through real quick. I saw, oh, Harold Chandler, man. I call him HC. Oh. Right, HC. Shots out to him, man. And, yes, uh, I think we got pretty much Anna. Hey, Anna. She 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 having another baby, man. That's what's oh, up. Wow. Yep. Congrats. Annalise. Yeah. Congrats. Trench Town stand up. Yes, indeed. All right, I- man. We 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 got that post pro to do. Yeah, let's go get it. Yep. Yep. But uh um, yeah. Um, what 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 we about to we about to bounce? Yep. No? Yeah. Yes, oh. we about to bounce. Oh, well, what happened to peace? Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>